Hello there guys, thank you for watching this episode of Star Wars Comics where today we discuss Palpatine's actual thoughts and feelings towards his previous apprentices, but I'm really interested to learn who was your favorite Sith apprentice of Sidious and actually why? Was it Maul, Dooku or maybe even Vader? Go ahead and comment down below guys and the one with the most likes will get pinned. Alright, so for today we will discuss Sidious' real feelings on a lot of subjects, but mainly what is happening right now and how it came to be. This conversation between Sidious and Vader takes place after the Death Star was destroyed and the horrible consequences that came afterwards, where just the fact that the Empire could be made to bleed was inspiring enough for the rebels and other factions to stand up against their tyranny. During that time, two crises were happening. The Shotorun War and the betrayal of Silo, who was the scientist behind not only Vader's reconstruction decades ago, but now he had built his own faction of mechanical enforcers and a small army just for himself. It was time for the Emperor to have a chat with Vader and explain everything to his apprentice. They met aboard the Executor, in where Sidious proceeded to go through the history of the Sith stating that the dark side is too strong for anyone to control, but through his sheer cunning he had brought back the Sith to their natural state, ruling the galaxy once more. Achieved through the stupidity of the Jedi, who thought the Sith were actually extinct, their pomp and arrogance were their undoing. Now, from their ashes, Palpatine had created a new age, learning from the mistake of his predecessors and using his apprentices to advance his secret agenda. He starts with Darth Maul by saying that he was definitely a big loss. This implies that Sidious actually valued Maul and perhaps did foresee a great future with Maul by his side. Remember, he tutored Maul before he even knew of Anakin. And Furthermore, Darth Maul actually showed to Sidious that he was ready and prepared to be a true Sith. Same as Vader, Palpatine tested Maul in many different ways and the Zabrak prevailed all of them, showing his strength and cunning many times throughout those years. Even without Palpatine, he managed to create his own faction as we saw in the Clone Wars series. However, when he talks about Tyrannus, it is obvious that he was just a placeholder. Sidious says that Dooku was simply a proton torpedo. He served his purpose and then he was gone. All throughout that time, he had a superior candidate in mind. A young Anakin who was later renamed by Sidious as Vader. And although they almost pulled it off successfully, the tragedy on Mustafar set them back quite a bit. Sidious even confessed that he sought other options, other apprentices when he learned of Vader's failure on Mustafar. But there was none like Vader. He soon would realize that if the Empire was to live, then Vader had to live as well. I'm really intrigued by his answer. If Sidious was searching outside of Vader for an apprentice, or just another prospect at least, then who would it possibly be, canonically of course? Maybe with more content coming, it could be great if we get to see these other prospects that he was actually thinking of. Mind you, this is after Vader had his injuries of course, immediately post Mustafar Vader. If we're talking during Imperial times, then we can kinda get a sense that Ezra could have been a candidate as we see in the Season 4 trailer, and of course Luke as seen in Return of the Jedi. Leave every Everything down below in the comments guys, thoughts, feedback, would love to know what you guys think of all of this. Thank you so much for watching this video and may the force be with you always.